G'day viewers, I'm here at Papel's Corner and it's uh, very windy so I have to uh, speak up loud so if I'm shouting, well, bad luck. Anyway, I'm going to have a look at the uh, post here. This is Papel's Corner where South Australia, Northern Territory and Queensland meet. So presently I'm in South Australia. Now I'm in the Northern Territory, now I'm in Queensland, now I'm back in South Australia. That was a bloody quick trip, hey? Three states in about t three seconds. So, uh, don't ask me what the time is because all the different time zones and the um, daylight savings is throwing me out. I might just go back to the Northern Territory for a minute. Oh, fuck, it's hot in this state. Uh, oh, Queensland, beautiful one day, perfect the next. Back in South Australia again, city of churches. Adelaide anyway. So uh, I'm going to camp somewhere here tonight. I've got a big decision to make. I don't know whether to camp in uh, South Australia or Queensland or even the Northern Territory for that matter. <sighs> I don't know. Anyway, have a look around. There's a uh, massive salt lake here. And lots of desert. Um, doing the track through the Simpson Desert. With, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to stand and lean against South Australia. But I'm in Queensland. Or at my Northern Territory. I don't know where I am. Um, yeah, the track pretty awesome. I thought it was never going to end. You go over one sand dune and uh, there's another one in front of you. You go over that and there's another one. You go over that and there's another one. It's just sand dune after sand dune after sand dune. Uh, they reckon there's 1100 sand dunes doing the, the Simpson Crossing. I reckon I've gone over 4,872 of them. Hang on. I went over a lot of them and um, lots of whoop de doos as well. The corrugations were bad and my car kept, because I've lowered the tyre pressure so low, I think I'm on about 15, which is probably overkill, but I've done it anyway. Um, the toe, my toe ball, my toe bar kept fucking bottoming out all the time, so I'm going to pull that off before I head back. And, um, but unbelievable country out here. It's got me how uh, any critters can survive because it's just barren. Uh, it's just, I don't know, but fantastic. I'm, I'm very fucking glad I've done this and, uh, and seen this part of the country. Anyway, I'm going to go and look for somewhere to camp. Apparently we might have fires here, which I'm scared about because I was going to do a race in the uh, camp oven tonight. It's going to have to wait for another night now. And I'm probably just going to have to have a can of soup for dinner because I didn't get any other meat out. All the frozen. And again, if I get it out now, it won't take long to defrost in this heat. I think it feels like it's about 175 degrees here. It's probably not that hot, I don't reckon, but it feels like it. Um, but when I was in Birchville, they were forecasting 43 for the next few days, so it's got to be around that. It's friggin' hot, man. No water, just swimming. I need to swim. Oh, and we play the water bottle on the top of my car. It's got a massive crack in the top of it. I don't know how the hell that's happened, but she's fucked now. Did no good good time for that to happen out here in the desert when I need the water the most and um, from all the whoop de doos and that uh, the oil containers have been leaking a bit of petrol out of the lids as well they're up as tight as I can get them but just all the, the up and down and the splashing is coming out so I'm gonna get both of them down and put them into my tank anyway take a bit of weight off the roof as well and um, that is all for now. Over and out.